Welcome to Apex Instruments. We here at Apex believe that stack testing can be simple and affordable. We also believe that the most important thing that a stack tester needs is reliable equipment. In this video, we're going to give you a brief introduction to isoconate sampling. We're going to talk about what we as a company contribute to the industry. And we're going to talk about what we can do for you, whether you're just starting out as a stack tester or you're a veteran. Now, when we're talking about isokinetic sampling, what do we mean? We mean the ability to take a gas sample from a source like a duct or a stack or a chimney or a vent, and to be able to provide a representative assessment of the particulate matter in that source. And the equipment, typically following the legislative requirements, can be seen right here. There are quite a few components. Let's take a look at them. First, we have the isokinetic sampling probe over there at the end. It receives the gas sample from the stack. We have the hot box where the particulate matter is stored right here in the filter assembly. Then we have the glassware, otherwise known as the impingers. Then connecting all these components is the umbilical cable. And finally, we have the control console and the vacuum pump. One of the things we've tried to do over the years is to create features that make the equipment simple and easy to use. For example, the color coding on the manometer, the thermocouple assemblies, the temperature controllers, and everything is easily identifiable. The control console itself is made out of polycarbonate material so that it's lighter and easier to get to the stack where you need to do your testing. Most of the equipment here is driven by regulation and legislation, but we'd love to take your ideas and incorporate them into our product. Here at Apex, we're available to help you. We've made a reputation on the parts and components and systems and pieces you need to do your testing. And we have everything in stock in order to get it out to you as quickly as possible. So we're here and we do listen. If there's anything wrong with our equipment, we improve it. Okay, thanks for listening, guys. Next week, we're gonna talk about the hardest parts of stack testing as well as the easiest. We're also gonna start breaking down the individual components of the stack sampling train. Okay, Apex Instruments, out.